Hi, I'm Karen Vecchio, Member of Parliament for Elgin Middlesex London, Shadow Minister for Families, Children and Social Development, and Chair of the Status of Women Committee. Today I am with my son, Garrett Williamson, who is going to be watching what I do as a parliamentarian. So enjoy what we do and welcome to the House of Commons. Yeah, I guess uh, next question would be, how would you describe the life of an MP? Okay, well, as an MP, we have two major roles. We have a role in the constituency, where that's known as our riding. I am the uh, representative for Elgin Middlesex London, so I represent all of Thames Centre, the uh, county of Elgin, including St. Thomas, as well as a portion of the City of London. So that's one half of our job, where we spend at least 26 weeks there. And then we're also here in Parliament in Ottawa 26 weeks a year. We're usually here Monday through Friday and sit in the House of Commons, where we have debates, question period, committee meetings, and a lot of meetings with uh, stakeholder groups throughout Canada. And for you, what is a typical day? Well, you know, for me, a typical day, you never know what's going to come. For instance, on Wednesdays, we know that every Wednesday we have caucus meetings. So I have a national caucus meeting where we're meeting for two and a half hours with the leader of our party, as well as the executive team and all members of the caucus. Earlier that morning, we also meet with the Ontario caucus. So anyone who's been elected in Ontario, we meet and talk about some of the issues that are going with on with our own areas. And then that goes into a bigger meeting as well. Um, after that, there's always question period, a lot of committee meetings, and of course, meetings with stakeholders, which is really, really important. Uh, for, for a day for me, uh, today I will continue with French lessons. I'm meeting with Franck, my French instructor, because we are a bio, uh, bilingual country, so I try to do my best so that I can communicate with all members of Parliament. There are 338 and there's many languages spoken in the House, but traditionally it's just English and French that we speak. Um, a lot of my work is in the committee side, so I do a lot of things with housing, child care, old age security and seniors. Um, I look at housing for families, affordable housing, social housing, uh, the homelessness issue. Also we deal with issues that are the social issues within our communities. So right now we of course have a drug crisis that's going on with things like fentanyl. So it's, a lot of those things are also discussed. So I'm dealing with that. I also um, am the chair of the Status of Women Committee. So as we're going forward with studies, I'll look at some of the witnesses. I will ask members of the committee to bring forward names. We'll look at those witnesses, have them come in as we're doing a study. And I also work with the clerk on a, a weekly basis to make sure that the, the committee business is being done, that the people that we need to speak to are coming, and that we're on time so that we have time to write and draft reports and then also present them to the House of Commons for members to look at. Right now, I'm also studying seniors in the HUMA committee. I work with the HUMA committee often, although not, I'm not a standing member on that committee. And I'm, I'm looking at things around that. I am also right now in charge, and it's really awesome because I'm going throughout Canada on a tour looking at remote and rural communities and a family strategy for that. Uh, so it's not the one size fits all. So whatever we have for places like Toronto and Vancouver is not what we're going to see in my hometown of Sparta, Ontario with 300 people or a place like Fort McMurray. As a Conservative Member of Parliament, how would you describe your relationship with the current Prime Minister of Canada? <laughs> well, I don't think he really likes me. Um, I asked my very first week uh, what about the nannies that he was paying, his government funded nannies, and he put, did this to me to get away. So I thought that was a little annoying to be honest, so I'm going to be real unplugged here. I don't think we're very close friends. I'd have to say, if he was in my hometown, we probably wouldn't have a beer together. Thank <laughs> you.